Hello guys and girls, welcome to my channel, Vital Buzz Solution. I'm Vital Buzz, and today we're going to play some Car Mechanic Simulator, a game that I am absolutely hooked and addicted on at the moment. It's so much fun. Oh, I just love doing up cars, restoring them, selling them on for a profit, because essentially that's what the game's all about. Anyway... I'm only level 4 at the moment, but what I want to do today is show you a couple of jobs uh, that we can do to give you a little bit of a taste of what's to come. Because eventually what you'll eventually see on uh, my videos will be moving to a bigger premises where we have probably two or three lifts, uh, the junkyard will be unlocked, the car auction sales will be unlocked and we'll have some barn locations where we can go and find parts and hidden gems. That is the long-term goal. Doing up projects and selling them on for big money. Or necessarily keeping the vehicles. So, anyway, yeah. For those of you who aren't too familiar with the game, I'll just take you a little tour around the garage before we take in our first order. The toolbox here, this is where your skills are set. So, as you can see, there's a lot of skills that we need to unlock. I've already done three at the moment. They're level one. Uh, I think you only need one skill point for them, I'm guessing. So, the next level we'll be looking at is probably Strong Arms or Like a Wind. It's 10% faster walking. Uh, this is the one I'm really interested in. Is um, You get to expand your garage and add one test path and a repair bench to your garage. So that means we can actually start repairing items that we have in stock. Uh, but that is yet to come. Over here... This is where you change your tyres and replace any tyres onto your rims and this balances your wheels out. Uh, so if we do come across a job that requires that, we can do that. This drains your oil. I actually need to remember to use that every time I'm draining oil from a vehicle. That's another toolbox. This um, mount stand here is where you can mount an engine and strip it of all its components and parts and put it back together again. Um, that will be something I would love to do. And I think you can rotate it 360 as well, which is cool. This is your computer where you can order in your parts. So the specifics here, like your engine, suspension, your brakes, your exhaust and your gearbox. These are your parts page here. And you come out of that, you've got the body spot where you can get panels for your vehicles. Your custom gearbox shop, the body tuning shop. The tuning shop, the tyre shop, the rim shop, and you've got license plating as well. So there's a bit of everything there for you just to keep you entertained. Out here, if you go out of the garage, there's your main gate. You've got different locations you can go to. There's parking, the car saloon where you can buy a brand new vehicle. Why on earth would you want to do that? I don't know. Uh, there's the test track, there's the race track, there's the off-road track and the abandoned airport. They're the only places that we have access to go to at the moment. The junkyard and the car auctions will come later on once when we've levelled up. Okay, so that gives you a brief description of what is around. In the top right hand corner, the orange bar is the level that our mechanic is. The XP in the turquoise colour. Uh, the numbers to the left, the 1159, is the current XP we have. And the number next to it, the 1300-1300, is the level that we need to reach in order to level up to level 5. The blue number with the number 4 and the telephone is where we have our orders. We currently have 5 at the moment. And the obvious symbol, the dollar sign with the numbers next to it, is how much money we have in the bank. So, let's get straight into a job. So, the first thing we do is press triangle and go across to orders. And we'll scan down the page to see what we have. So, this is a Mayan M6. So, when driving through a city, I did notice a speed bump. Please check the front suspension because I have an impression that something is not right. So, that might be a damaged suspension part. This one, the car is hard to control, suspension rattling. Uh, that's a Jeep Willys Civilian. This one is a Rhino Piccolo. Poor brake performance, so that is brakes related. 
the Sakura Moon again break problems and this one is the Emden Lots which is the timing belt needs replacing so what should we do first should we do should we do a brake job first? Yeah, let's do a brake job first. And then we'll move on to another part. Okay, now we're just going to wait for the vehicle to load in. And then we can carry on with the job. Okay, so here's the vehicle. You can actually pop the hood up on it if you wish. And then you can examine the engine inside. Notice that there are rust parts here. You generally use that as an indication as to how worn a part is and what condition it's in. You can even open the front door. Examine the interior, which is uh, nice and splendid. Right, to examine the car status, we go into the hot bar and across to car status. So it looks like there were two warm brake pads that we need to check. Okay, easy peasy. So the first thing we're going to need to do is move the car over to the car lift. So we'll do that. This lift has two modes. Press it once. Lift it off the ground. A few inches, few feet up. Well, not few feet, probably about two feet up. And press it again. And you raise it all the way up to the roof. And this is useful if you want to work underneath the car. But we're not going to be doing that because we're only checking the brakes. It's brake pads. So we need to have a look around the car, see if we can actually spot the warm pads. I'm guessing that is one there, and this one here. So, let's remove the rim. And we need to see if we can find a warm brake pad. So we're going to have to take the caliper off. and check each individual part. So the caliper is okay, your condition's there in the top left hand corner. That brake pad's okay. We don't need to change that one, so we can attach these parts back. Put the caliper back on. As you can see there, you've got your screws in the background to remind you you need to attach that part. And it's the same for the rims. You select your rim, and then attach your bolts to the vehicle and that's that right we'll move to the rear of the vehicle does this have, yes this one has rear brakes as well rear brake pads so we need to remove the rim and check the brake position on this rear side this let's remove the brake caliper again Ah, this looks a little bit worn, so I have a funny feeling that this is one of the brake pads we need to change. 16%, yeah, this is one part we do need to change. Okie dokie, let's see if we can find the second worn brake pad. Can we see it through there? Is that worn? I don't know. Possibly, possibly. Unless it's this one, yeah, it's definitely this one. If you look through there... And look where the brake pad is inside the caliper. You can see there's bits of grey matter scattered all over the pad. So that is an indication that that pad is worn. Okay. There we go. Quickly remove this wheel. Remove the caliper. And there's the warm brake pad. Condition 17%. So that's a nice easy job to do. All we need is two brake pads. So let's go up to the main shop. Scroll across the brakes. You can manually put in the name of the part that you want. But because we know what we want and the brake section is a limited choice here, it is quite easy to find the part that we're looking for. Right, let's do the rear side brake pad first so we'll click on the part that we're wanting to work on and to attach a part you just press triangle and part mount click on your brake pad and attach the new part there we go a nice shiny brake pad 100% condition 
And all's left is for the rim to go on. Five bolts. One done. One more to go. It's as easy as that. But I'll tell you what, guys. This, as fun as this is, actually, the real fun part that I cannot wait for is when we can actually start renovating we're well, renovating is it doing up restoring some old rust buckets some uh, junkyard vehicles some projects that we can really get our uh, teeth into that is the part i'm looking forward to and oh boy we're going to be doing plenty of videos on that trust me we're going to have a ton of fun and also i'm going to get the uh, dlc content as well so we'll have more vehicles uh, to unearth and repair and do up. So I think that's it as far as this job's concerned. Let's just go across to car status. There we go. Two brake pads. Two brand new brake pads fitted. We've got two ticks. Uh, money spent, $80. Uh, we've got our task bonus and job bonus. So we have a total payout of 120 giving us a $40 profit. Job completed, another satisfied customer. So let's go over to the inventory. You can actually scroll down this. We have different various parts. Um, all the ones that you see 100% are ones that have been awarded um, each time I've leveled up. And then I've got some parts that I've saved from previous jobs uh, that have relatively poor condition, but I'm hanging on to them for when we have the repair bench in case we can salvage any of these bits. So then we can reuse them on another job. That's the idea. Anyway, oh, and we have a case as well. Splendid. Right, brake pads. They are in pretty poor condition, so I'm going to sell them for the pittance of money that we're going to receive. Anyway, these cases are kind of like freebies that you were given. So all you have to do is click on the case and open up and see what's inside. So what do we have here? Oh, hello. We have a oil pan for a V8. OV6, very nice. A front suspension cross member E. Like I say, there are different uh, front suspension parts and oil pans for different uh, vehicles and we have an ignition wire B6C. All these parts will come in useful for when we do our scrap renovations uh, because that's money effectively that you're saving. So for example, you want to sell this part, that's $41, 23, even though they're going to cost a bit more, 41. What else have we got? 102, 186. This is money that we're just saving. It's free money. Fantastic. Should we get in another call? Let's do one more job before we wrap this video up. I reckon we should do that. Uh, let's do something else that's not brake related. So what's this one? When driving through a city, I did notice a speed... Oh, that's that job there. Uh, general running, gear control and repair. Uh, what's this one? Filters need replacing, put in new timing parts, replace all filters. What should we do? Should we do the suspension? Drive through city, speed bump. Yeah, let's do the suspension. Let's do something a little bit different. And here we have it. Go over to car status. Oh, hello. There's a lot of stuff wrong with this vehicle. Wow. I did not realise that this was going to have so many problems. Okie dokie. Um, yeah. In that case then, I think we'll call this video right here because I don't want to run this too long. If we've got all these parts to replace, because this is going to be a big job. Anyway, so if you want to stay tuned for the next part and actually see how I get on in repairing this vehicle, then I suggest, uh, yeah, the best thing to do, I would say, subscribe to the channel. Click on that subscription button and turn on the notification bell so that you do not miss out on any of the video, uh, any of the video, uh, yeah, any of the videos that I upload. In particular, this part here. And don't forget to give the video a like as well. That would be very much appreciated and help my channel out as well. So yeah, 
we're gonna have fun doing this uh, this repair job up. I thought we were just replacing the suspension part. I did not realise we we're gonna be doing all this. So if you want to see me fix this vehicle up, so I guess I'm gonna have to stay tuned for the next part of Car Mechanic Simulator on my channel. Take care guys and as always, oh, keep buzzing.